Good evening, and welcome to the first statewide God and Country Rally of 2023. Thank you for being here. I, I regret that I'm not able to be present physically, recovering from a recent surgery, but I'm praying fervently for this evening. I'm praying for each of you. I'm praying for Brother Byron and Brother Chad and Dr. Edwards and Pastor Godfrey. I'm praying for the musicians. And I pray that this evening would be an evening where God manifest his presence and his power, that our hearts are stirred, that we're encouraged by the truth of God's word. You know, 2023 is a vitally important election year here in Virginia. Brother Chad, I know it's an off year in many states, but it's an incredibly important election year for the Commonwealth. Brother Byron, someone asked the other day, are there elections in Virginia this year? Oh, my friend, all 40 state Senate seats are on the ballot. All 100 House of Delegate seats are on the ballot. Every county that has a board of supervisors will be voting on every one of those seats in November. Every county that has constitutional officers all across the state will be on the ballot this November. You say, what's a constitutional officer? The clerk of circuit court, the Commonwealth's attorney, the sheriff, the commissioner of revenue, and the treasurer, five constitutional officers that will be on the ballot in every county across the state this November. Most school board seats across Virginia will be on the ballot. In our small uh, county here in Cumberland, where I live, and in our small county, Powhatan, where I pastor, there will be at least 17 positions on our ballots this November. That means if you do the math with the number of counties and then the other cities here in the Commonwealth, there will be at least 2,000 seats, at least 2,000 offices that will be on the ballot in November. That is incredibly important. God's people must be engaged. We must be informed. We must be involved. Brother Chad, I jotted it down this way. We must be involved on the local level. You know, that's really where decisions, where uh, elections are made is on the local level. Local parties make the decisions about the candidates that will be on the ballot in these different slots. May I encourage you this evening to get involved locally? You say, Pastor, what do you mean? Well, I mean, attend the local party monthly meetings. Now, we would never try to tell you what party you should identify with. That's a personal decision between you and God. But I would encourage you to find out when your local party meets and get involved in their local monthly meetings. Meet your local elected officials. Have you met your sheriff, your clerk of court, your commissioner of revenue, uh, your commonwealth's attorney, your sheriff? Oh, you need to get to know them. You need to meet them. Find out what they believe about the issues. Let me encourage you to become a delegate at your district convention or your town hall meeting or however your district is going to process the primaries this year. Here in Cumberland County, there is a convention already set up for the election of our House of Delegates member. There is another convention already set up for our state Senate meeting. I know that's the case in Powhatan as well. Many counties, many districts, let me say, are having primary conventions. You can become a delegate to that, but you've got to be involved in your local party to start doing that, to start that process Malaysia and I started attending our local party monthly meetings a couple of years ago. As a result, we've been delegates in the last several conventions, the, the non-in-person convention and then the, then the person in-person convention last year. We've both been asked this year to become delegates again and to serve in some key positions. 
We must let our voice be heard on the local level. We must have a voice now. I know many of you are thinking, well, I vote every year. I'm just going to wait till then. Oh, my friends, please don't wait till election day. Pastor Godfrey, you have set such an incredible example for us by getting involved locally and interviewing candidates on the local level. Thank you for that. And I believe you'll probably be speaking to that here in a little bit. But my friends, get involved locally, get involved in your party, get involved as a sworn election officer, as a poll watcher. We're all concerned about election integrity. You can do something about it. I'm available to answer questions and to help you in that process. Dr. Edwards, as always, we want to keep the main thing the main thing. We must pray. We must pray de daily for our elected officials, for our nation, for our commonwealth, for our local areas. We must pray. We must share the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I know Dr. Edwards is going to share that with you here in just a little bit. But we must be involved as salt and light. As Brother Chad always says, get your Bible. Find out where these elected officials, where these candidates stand on the issues that matter. Life is a biblical issue. Marriage is a biblical issue. The education of our children is a biblical issue. Stand for biblical truth and vote biblical values. Get involved locally. Get involved now. You know, there's a place for every one of us. I was thinking this morning, God put Joseph in a key political position to fulfill God's plan. God put Esther in a key pos political position to fulfill God's plan. You know, when Paul was at a point of crisis, he appealed to Caesar as a Roman citizen. We as American citizens, obviously citizens of heaven first, but as American citizens, we have some privileges. And with those privileges comes responsibility. I pray again that every one of us, by God's grace, would determine to get more involved. Let your voice be heard. Stand for biblical truth. Make a difference for God's glory. And as Brother Byron always reminds us, and now, go do the next right thing for God's glory. I love you. I'm praying for you. Have a great round.